Hey everyone, today I brought in a special guest here with me uh, to go over on what makes Samurai Reviews the best movie review channel out there. Coming up. Hello and thanks for coming in today. Uh, we appreciate you getting back to us. Uh, we also welcome you to our show. Yeah, no problem, Josh. Thanks for inviting me uh, and I'm glad to be here. Yes, we are here today to talk to none other than Josh, uh, one of the founders uh, of Samurai Reviews. Yeah, I'm sorry that my other half, Brett, uh, couldn't make it in today. Um, He's really taking this stay home, stay safe, social distancing uh, pretty seriously. Yes, yes, we are all sorry to hear uh, that he couldn't make it. Uh, we should all be concerned for the safety of others. It's okay for us though, because we're like the same person. <laughs> well, I appreciate the compliment, but uh, moving on, Josh, uh, because Brett is such a good guy to stay at home and watching out for others. I heard that this has uh, put Samurai Reviews to stop for the time being during this uh, pandemic. You know, it has been a struggle, Josh. Uh, I've been talking to the producers uh, at Kazuya Cam to, to try to figure out a way to get us back uh, to doing movie reviews again. Great, great. Uh, but if I may ask, you know, what kind of uh, adversities are you being faced against right now? Well, there's there's a few. Uh, well, first, Brett and I uh, live in different cities, you know, about 30 to 45 minute drive away from each other. And and because of social distancing, you know, we can't really bring Brett over uh, to our, the studio at the moment. You know, I can I can try to do uh, movie reviews um, outside six feet apart sure but you know complications of audio disturbance from neighbor's dog other kids uh, even my kids as as well as lighting without proper equipment which I don't have you know becomes an issue I see well why don't you just do it uh, yourself for a while until this whole thing uh, comes to an end you know I, I, I definitely could but Having uh, only one perspective on a movie just seems a little bit one-sided uh, because, you know, everybody enjoys movies for different reasons. You know, like how I enjoy uh, The Lord of the Rings uh, way more than rom-com or horror-type films. <laughs> well, now that you mention it, I too like Lord of the Rings myself. Uh, but saying that, I do find a lot of movie reviewers are, are reviewing movies just by themselves. You know, exactly. You know, I, I know there's a few uh, out there, but what comes to my mind are Chris Stuckman and Jeremy Johns. Right, right. Chris, Chris and Jeremy are the, are the big ones out there. But um, I was wondering, uh, why can't you just, you know, Zoom or online call him and, and record that? Well, so far that is our, our best option that we have, uh, but also uh, having that Brett lives with four other people who are currently uh, unemployed, um, stuck at home, sharing internet on a terrible internet plan. You know, I just don't really quite see, I don't really quite see it working out uh, too well. I see how that could be an issue, but um, I'm pretty sure reviewing movies yourself uh, would make it more uh, efficient on reviewing movies. Am I am I right? You know, look, look, Josh, you know, having more than one reviewer adds an extra dimension to our reviews. You know, this allows us to uh, challenge our biases and hope to give our viewers a more of an objective look at movies. You know, it it also eliminates a skewed movie rating. Uh, for for instance, um, in one of our episodes when we reviewed Doolittle, uh, where Brett gave it a ten, you know, because of his opinion that John Cena makes any movie a ten, uh, even though we clearly know that really uh, deserved a two rating. 
<laughs> yeah, yes, I do remember that episode. Um, I know that Angry Joe, uh, another review channel out there, uh, does review uh, in that same way. Yes, but but their opinions aren't consistent to how movies should be viewed. You know, um, in, for instance, in one of their review videos, you know. Uh, they mentioned about turning off your brains and watching it. You know, anybody can enjoy any bad movie if they turn off their brains. You know, I can enjoy the live action Avatar The Last Airbender movie if I just turn off my brain and watch it. Um, if you have to turn off your brain, that movie should lose points. Um, the best part about Angry Joe's though, um, and their reviews is their personality and and the different views on movies they share. Uh, because of this, the difference of opinion and, and uh, stylistic performance makes it watchable uh, to me. Uh, you know, I do remember them saying that uh, about turning off their brains. Uh, you, ma you make a really good point there. Well, thanks, you know. Uh, while each of these reviewers have something to offer, I believe that Angry Joe's does the best job at reviewing movies and, and entertaining while eliminating as many skews on their rating as possible. Uh, even though their opinions on movies do bounce around a lot and, and do contradict what they've uh, stated before in other uh, movie reviews uh, that they've done. Well, what about other reviewers that do it by themselves? You know, they seem to have it all figured out, you can just do what they're doing. Well, okay, well, let's start with Jeremy Johns. You know, he he definitely has one thing going for him. He clearly works uh, very hard at putting as much character in his videos as he can. Uh, the problem is with uh, one person, this becomes a difficult task. Uh, one of the reasons we don't review movies solo is to avoid that human error. You know, and, and by that, I mean, uh, we're able to bounce our opinions off of each other. And, and when one of us misunderstood something, the other can correct that misunderstanding. You know, um, also having two different uh, views on movies from two different people with different backgrounds allows more view, more viewers like yourself to get an honest review that has a better chance of relating to your own preferences. Yeah, you you really do need um, someone to bounce theirs or, or your opinions off of each other to, um, I, I'd say, uncover your uh, subconscious uh, biases that we, we all individually have, yeah. Well, I'm glad you get it, Josh. You know, sticking to uh, Jeremy, uh, he's very, He's very plain um, in his review videos. I don't think at all unique and, and creative enough. Um, I mean, his like red background that he has, you know, it's it, it's very boring. Um, he also likes to state facts of the movies instead of going through the subtext of the movies. Um, it's just makes it bland uh, in a way. Um, as for Chris though, you know, he, he does have some kind of personality. You can definitely tell he has a passion for movies, uh, does a way better job of getting to the point than Jeremy does. Uh, but what I just don't get uh, from his review videos are his letter grades that he gives, you know? Uh, they seem very ambiguous and can be uh, interpreted by different people. You know, the letter grade system doesn't quite uh, give me an answer to uh, should I watch it or not you know for us an average movie is five out of ten um, sure you should have some kind of intricacy to your rating system due to the variabilities of movies you know coming out nowadays and and that's why we we spend one video explaining the rest of our ratings well uh, from what I've seen it seems like your system our movies uh, just below average are in in the four range, while movies you should not watch are anything lower than that. Uh, you also 
seem to rate excellent movies um, a 9 out of 10 or above uh, from what I remember your rating system. Yeah, you're exactly right, uh, Josh. You know, anything below a 4, we we don't recommend it. Uh, you know, Brett will, will sometimes give a movie a 10, uh, but in my opinion, there is no perfect movie. Uh, I would never give a movie a 10, even though, you know, I like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it just can't get me to do it. Um, if we do rate a movie 7 uh, or above, it's, it's highly recommended to go see it. Uh, just seems like a, a way better and easy scoring system. Wow, um, it seems like you guys have put a lot of thought uh, into this. You know, we have put uh, a lot of thought into our rating system. Uh, that was definitely one of our main concerns uh, when we started Samurai Reviews. You know, we we really wanted to have an original scoring system and, and wanted to uh, make it easy enough to make sense to the general audience. Uh, not that I'm, I think Chris is all bad and all. Um, I do have to give it to Chris Stuckman. Uh, he has a very nice setup and, and his reviews are, are very good at getting to the point and, and staying short for people that don't want to sit through a 20 minute review. Uh, but because of that, I, he lacks the entertainment value of a Samurai Reviews uh, or an Angry Joe. Well, thank you, Josh, uh, for explaining um, and kind of breaking all of that down for us. And when all is said and done, uh, we both agree that Samurai Reviews is the best movie review channels out there. Uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, also, uh, don't forget to comment down below who you think is the best movie review channel out there. And also uh, comment down below any other movie review channels that we didn't mention uh, or forgot to and, and what you like about them or, or do not like about them. Yeah, this has been Samurai Reviews, Reviews Reviewers. Take care guys, see ya. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs>